Hi guys, this is Dr. Mukhtar. Welcome to my channel, Livestock Technical Guru. In this video, I will demonstrate the collection and artificial insemination in poultry. I want to thank Dr. Jyoti and Dr. Mukesh, who are my juniors at Central Haven Research Institute, who helped me during this during the research program at Institute. Firstly, we see we will see requirements for the collection and artificial insemination. We require tuberculin syringe. We require panels in which we will collect the semen. This is the conical flask in which we have placed sterilized diluent. We were using carry diluent for poultry semen usually. Then empty beaker. This is required to place test tubes which contains semen because directly we cannot keep into the eyes there will be damage to this plasma lima of the spermatozoa and in turn result more number of dead cells pipette can be used to measure the volume of the semen that we get from the cock tissue papers we require in order to clean the dirt where we collect the semen from cocks. All these are placed inside the ice box in order to keep them cool. Now we are heading towards shed, poultry shed where we were having breeder stock. Dr. Mukesh is with me, he was my junior. Now here for collection of the semen, we need to massage the back of the bird at least two, three times. When the male cock erects the tail, it means he is ready to ejaculate. Then gently we have to squeeze the vent region of the cock in order to get the semen. You see neat and clean semen. Gently we have to massage back of the bird. Yes, now we will gently squeeze the vent region. Yes, we are getting the semen neat and clean in the funnel. Now here I <coughs> took this sample into the tuberculin syringe in order to measure the volume from each cox about 0 0.5 ml of these were uh, naked neck and frizzle fowl both were giving about 0 0.5 0 0.6 ml of the semen after the collection of the semen we need to analyze we need to evaluate the semen volume we generally were seeing the mortality of the <coughs> spermatozoa or other live and dead cells were also seen but on the basis of mortality we are going for inseminating mm, hands you see here we are doing dilution of the semen i have taken one ml of the semen now i will place it into the sterilized test tube after that i will add diluent which were placed uh, i can say the sterilized diluent generally one is to two dilution gives best results of fertility this is a diluent in the conical flask. I will now add the diluent, about 2 ml, and then we have to gently shake it in order to. Here I am changing. You see, I have placed semen in the test tube by one tuberculin syringe, and now I am go going to take the diluent by another tuberculin syringe in order to prevent the contamination of the diluent. yes this is one ml of the diluent now i will add another ml of the diluent in order to make it one is to two dilution another ml of the diluent 
you can use instead of the dilute you can use normal saline also for diluting the poultry semen because we generally do the we have to do the uh, artificial insemination in uh, hands uh, within 30 minutes after collection because there is a problem we cannot store this poultry semen another thing this artificial insemination should be done after uh, afternoon because uh, when there is no ad egg inside the uh, reproductive tract of the hands otherwise it will pro it will create problems uh, to the uh, moment of this uh, spermatozoa from vaginal where we deposit the semen to the where they have to reach it means they have to reach in the infendibulum where there are sperm storage tubules now after that our sample is ready for inseminating the hands here coloica we have opened it is a vaginal opening you are seeing averted from the uh, Kulaika. yes now one to two centimeter inside the vagina you can deposit this semen volume of 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 ml you can deposit it and in case of poultry we have to do artificial insemination after two days means in a week we have to at least inseminate it three times in order to get optimum fertility now this was all we are heading towards our lab in order to analyze our samples again for other parameters, I am very thankful to Dr. Mukesh as well as Dr. Jyoti who helped me while carrying my research at CRI.